hello my jewels and welcome back to another video i am sapphire it's tuesday today is september the 21st so today as you see by the title i'm going to talk about using pro um, pro conditioners with proteins in them or hair masks with proteins in them i'm not sure how i'm going to title the video but that's what i'm going to talk about today so I have been hearing a lot of things, okay, about conditioners and proteins and yada, yada, this, and yada, yada, that. I have spoken to you guys about that before, about using these conditioners and hair masks with proteins in them. You have to use protein-free conditioners if you're going to use them every single month, okay? You cannot use conditioners that are loaded with proteins in them when before you buy them okay you can either google it and find out if this product what are the ingredients it would tell you the ingredients in those in those products or if you go into the store you can look at the back of the labels before you purchase them and you can see what's in there so you have your water aqua okay then you might see glycerin you might see aloe vera okay uh you might see avocado you might see hydrolyzed wheat or hydrolyzed silk or you know and so on and so on just to name a few this this product i would not buy because the first 10 ingredients are proteins and that's something that i cannot use on a monthly basis okay i can't use that because over time that will damage my hair it would damage my hair now if my hair was damaged okay unhealthy then i would grab a conditioner that contained protein or a hair mask that contained protein that i could use on a monthly basis okay because my hair is damaged and this is an emergency so if your hair is not damaged and it's healthy, there is no reason that you should be using any product that contain proteins in them. I don't care what YouTube says. There's no reason to buy anything that contains proteins and you're using these on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. It's no wonder your hair is drying out and you have to cut three or four inches off. I've seen that on YouTube. I've seen people use shampoos, conditioners on a weekly basis. And over time, their hair is, is totally damaged. They have to cut it. They have to cut it. Long hair down their back. They have to cut that. So please be careful. Read the labels. Okay? Read the labels. You would not, you would not put a Band-Aid on a healed wound. You would not. Why? Because it's already healed. Correct? Same with our hair. You should not be putting proteins on your hair if it's already healthy. Doesn't that make sense? You can eat your fruits and vegetables as I always talk about all the time on my channel. Sweet potatoes, potatoes like white potatoes, Brussels sprouts, spinach, um, broccoli, uh, just to name a few, uh, jackfruit, um, what else, raspberries, raisins, you know, all of these avocado. I see a lot of women using avocado in their hair every single week. Oh my Lord. That's loaded with protein. That, that, that is loaded with protein. You should not be using that. Avocados, kiwis, all of these fruits they are they do have proteins in them and i see a lot of women mixing them up in the blender putting conditioner in it you know a little oil and they're applying it to their hair on a weekly basis and then later on five six seven months my hair i don't know why my hair is so dry oh my god i deep condition every week or i deep condition every month and this is what i'm using that's why the avocado, it's a protein. The kiwi, it's a protein. Stop putting food on your hair and eat the food. You don't have to put it on your hair. That's ridiculous. You don't have to do that, okay? Eat the fruits and vegetables. Don't grind them up, adding conditioner and oil and then placing that on your hair. Stop doing that. Y'all watch too much YouTube. Stop doing that. Do your own research. Find out what fruits and vegetables are loaded with proteins. You can eat those, okay? Our hair is already made up with protein, and that's the keratin. 
we don't have to add too many proteins in our hair. Use protein-free conditioners, um, protein-free shampoos. You don't have to do that. And once more, before my closing, you don't have to deep condition your hair every week. That's too much. It's an overload of moisture. It's just too much. Once a month is fine. Okay, and I got this from a friend that does hair. She's been doing hair for 42 years now. Our oldest daughter is 43. That's how long she has been doing hair. Okay, and she opened up my eyes to a lot of things and some women on YouTube have too. They opened up my eyes and a lot of things. And I just started doing my research, just started reading things and going into this, going into that. And I just start doing things differently, routines, my, my products, everything that I use, just start doing things differently. So I hope and pray that you get on board as well and stop following these trends. Okay, I hope and pray that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put the fruits and vegetables down here again. So that way you can look at them because most of these that I did mention, you guys eat these on a regular. I know we do. You guys eat these on a regular. So you don't have to put that on your hair. It's best to put it in your system. That way it will get into your blood and things will start happening. Okay, I hope and pray that you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you ever so kindly for joining me. Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. Thank you. God bless you. Mwah. Good night and have a wonderful evening.